Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and today's topic is actually this is uh, a requested video and she has commented on videos that please make a video on prologue to Canterbury Tales and I was really confused that what she really wants about she wants some basic details on these videos or uh, the description of or uh, she wants me to describe the whole prologue to Canterbury Tales and it, it is really tough to describe each and every part of Canterbury Tales uh, plot to Canterbury Tales all right so iske bare mein main aap logo ko bata dun ki ek jo isme jo main cheez hai wo kya hai ki this is a pan portrait of characters remember this thing pan portrait of cam, uh, characters or if you want to write down an essay about plot to Canterbury Tales you need to know about the you know pan portrait, portraits or you can say description of uh, characters so i have already made a detailed video on each and every character all right so i will be providing uh, the link in description box and uh, this is just you know description about prologue to canterbury tales so that you will come to know what is in it so the first thing is that it is composed or it is written in middle english or uh, if uh, middle english mein likha gaya hai aur uh, we can say uh, it is the middle english at that point of time theek hai jab middle english ki hum baat karte hain us time pe to hame ye pata chalega ki uh, wo jo english thi middle english us time pe wo lower strata use karta tha society ka jo lower means jo niche tabke ke log the now archana i don't know uh, whether you requested me to make the whole video in english or hindi so i am using both the languages so that you can understand so as we know that there were 30 people and uh, every person was assigned duty to to tell two stories all right so there were 60 stories uh, in going to shrine to canterbury uh, shrine and in that book canterbury tales and when they were coming back they were again given the duty to speak one uh, two stories so totally there were 120 tales were supposed to uh, to be written so uh, to puri nahi likhi gayi thi all right so next one is the introduction introduction to a few characters so it was introduction to canterbury tales hopefully you are getting and uh, pollock the pollock is also called portrait gallery and uh, okay some people called it the this the, these are the notes i i want to tell you so here uh, next thing did he want want to entertain common mass there was a question uh, about plot to canterbury tales and canterbury canterbury tales so uh, nobody care nobody is certain about the the answer that he wanted to uh, you know entertain because we know about chaucer that he was uh you know the man of business he was going here and there and he was a political person as well uh but he this work uh did a great job to to entertain a large community there and why he chose the month of april month of april in uh, you know britain that is a good place to uh, go out because of uh, the sweet sours and uh, you know the blossoming of flowers and it was nature and birds means that was a very good time to go out and in britain usually people go out in that time at that point of time all right so <clears throat> here are some uh, important uh, we can see characters the first was knight and here uh, knowledge of geography so what it has to do with chaucer actually chaucer was a political man and man of business he went uh, to several places so he knew the geography so through the the knight he showed his own knowledge about this and uh, the knight's son was well dressed and uh, fun loving fun loving person and uh, these are the you know common type type of people we can call them and next one was uh, yeoman yeoman uh, description of weapon okay there is a great uh, description of weapon you will find when you will see the yeoman uh, i have uh, already told you that there are, there is you know description of all the characters in that video i am just uh, 
uh, pinning in comment box as well so you can watch that video if you want more uh, details each and every detail you will find there about none you will see totally different as today like uh, none uh, if we see none today uh, we will find that a simple lady and humble person but uh, she is you know clever and uh, the next uh, important uh, ca characters of her uh, character so she was quite good or she was well on table and there is a source a story she tells okay so we can say this was the symbol of hypocrisy in that thing and there is a one uh, something her name was madam aglantine and she wrote a phrase over there what meant love conquers all love conquers all so this question is uh asked in question so let's talk about the next character which is uh, important monk which is described in 42 lines uh, for portrait pen portrait we can say and uh, he was a state uh, you know he has a great estate there means uh, the land and uh, things and uh, he likes hunting and he's he has got horses he has got horses he has a state and he likes hunting so these are the things he had means he was uh, quite you know different uh, if we talk about uh, today's monk so monks are usually humble and they don't have things but here monk has lots of things so this is a kind of pen portrait and if you want to know each and every character in short you can watch the another video of mine in comment box bye bye take care see you in next video